This grandson is extremely powerful, the dragon statue in his hand can come to life. Seeing the heavenly prince's leg, it wrapped its tail tightly around David's finger and turned into a dragon-shaped ring. Uncle Bao saw this scene, his expression extremely happy. A thousand years ago, the person he was looking for finally appeared. Uncle Bao told David to plug the ring, and then the two of them went to Chen Weixing. You're kidding. He he, he said he would teach his grandfather magic so he could save the world. After saying that, Uncle Bao went to get the magic book that he hid in the wall. In the wall suddenly flew out a doll, which rolled to the feet of David. David picked it up curiously. Outside the doll paints a portrait of a mysterious brother. The doll in David's hands suddenly transformed. The frightened boy hurriedly threw it down, but it was already late. Countless Xiao Chai crawled out of the crevices in the doll's body. Then turned into a brother who looked exactly like the drawing on the doll. He was an evil magician named Teo. Teo was sealed in this doll for a thousand years. He had just gotten out and had prepared meat with David. Fortunately, Uncle Bao promptly stopped him. He wanted to lock Teo up but didn't expect him to find a loophole. The two start a magical fight. He threw a ball, I sprayed a flame. The two were inconclusive. While they were fighting, David picked up another doll. But now Teo came over and said, he wants that doll. At the critical moment, Uncle Bao rushed towards Teo from the donkey. To protect David, Uncle Bao drags Teo into a vase. David ran out into the street in a panic, throwing the doll away, and then called his teacher, but found it in the room as if nothing had ever happened. He was also laughed at in the face by his classmates. Ten years pass, an elderly couple found their vase, newly bought in their house, vibrating like vibrating eggs. Then a puff of black hash erupted. It turned out that the ten-year deadline had arrived. Teo broke the seal first. He held the vase and threw it straight down. Before breaking his mouth, Uncle Bao struggled to get rid of it. The first thing he did after escaping was to find David. Because you were everything to me. David is now a physics student. A pair of armpit length legs made him lose his soul. Lifting his head turned out to be his friend's crab, Ki. The two said a few words sheepishly. David suddenly saw that his potato was motivated to live again. But he didn't know yet, bad luck was silently coming. Uncle Bao sits on a steel hawk once again saving David from Teo's hands. He told David the story. A long time ago, a thousand years ago there was a great magician named Marin. He had three outstanding disciples and Uncle Bao was one of them. The other two are Uncle Bao's girlfriend, Ronica, and his best friend Teo. While Marin and his enemies were wrestling, Teo betrayed his teacher. He helped the other gain dark magic, summoning the spirit army. Ronica, for saving Uncle Bao, decides to sacrifice herself. She let the other man's soul enter her body, to protect Ronica. Uncle Bao had no choice but to seal both of them in the doll. For a thousand years, Uncle Bao had imprisoned many evil magicians who intended to release Ronica. And the outermost layer is Teo. Before Grandmaster Marin died, he gave Uncle Bao a guide. The wearer of this dragon ring, is Marin's heir. Only he could feed Marika onions. For a thousand years now, Uncle Bao has been constantly searching for that person. Ons up accidentally finding David. On this side, Teo had been to the antique shop before, and he investigated with magic. The doll in David's hand was picked up by an old Chinese woman. So where would she be? Where else but Chinatown in Saigon? Uncle Bao and David quickly arrived in Saigon. But Teo hurried to the front. He found the doll. Moreover, he released the dark mage. Behind Uncle Bao appeared a man with strange makeup that was bead. I just looked at this guy who was Tao Lao. He raised his hand, silver needles flying. Then he knocked bead flying out the window. That's it. Not yet, Bead stood up, the dragon-shaped ink stain at his waist moving. Then the dragon dance team in front of them also lived. Turn into a VL war dragon. It was a real dragon. David frightened and fled. The fierce dragon charged towards him. David was cornered. But Bead had no intention of letting him go. He controlled the dragon to paddle straight to the roof. On this side Uncle Bao, when Bead did not pay attention, took the vessel that imprisoned Marika. By the time he came to save David, it wasn't in time. Are you going to be showing up? Rest assured the main character is not dead. Under Uncle Bao's direction, David raised his hand in concentration. Uncle Bao saw David succeed. One shot on target. Beat and the huge dragon dissolved together in the streets. Teo above, seeing this scene is dramatic. Aura, the protagonist is this. He knew, the person who could wear this ring would become an enemy of Marika, his master. Through this time, David decided to follow Uncle Bao to learn magic diligently. Because consciously, they are about to face the enemy max level. Max weapon, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Naturally, the training phase is quite boring. Based on the progress of his training, David's ability to control magic also got better and better. Of course the effort to practice will pay off. 
When David and Key were dating, he used his newly learned magic to feed the bandit. Much to Key's surprise, he even invited her to his lab to bake potatoes. That's how easy it is to see a little girlish magic. Teo also finds a magical descendant of Marika named Jack to help him. That day, David and Key were building bricks. Teo and Jack beat Uncle Bao, and also found Marika's captive doll. Teo launches a dagger intending to kill Uncle Bao. The big moment, David arrived in time. He controlled the daggers that saved his master. Teo took the doll and drove away. Teo touched his hand, winking the taxi turned into a supercar that ran away from his hair. Uncle Bao touched the car. The old car also began to turn into a supercar. They soared through the city's busy streets. On the way Teo tossed all the tricks were dodged by Uncle Bao. But he was about to catch up with them. Uncle Bao and David crashed into a glass again. This is a glass trap created by Teo. Everything inside is reversed. So that they could not escape Teo also broke all the glass. Uncle Bao raised his head, seeing a glass suspended in the air. The glass fell. Uncle Bao successfully escaped the trap. But after they went out, Teo was gone. Although Teo gets the captive doll Marika. But to open the seal requires tremendous magical power. Teo quietly walked up behind Jack. Suck all his power and unleash the final layer of sealing protection. This poor little brother is nothing more than a minor character. And powers the ultimate Marika boss. Teo had gathered two magic weapons. And the last one is also the most important. It was the dragon ring in David's hand. I wish I could. Uncle Bao and David have found Teo's lair. The two split up to find the captive doll. But Uncle Bao had just entered the door when he was caught in Teo's carpet trap. Director Toan hit the trap. His body slowly sank into the trap. Fortunately, he died a lot, who was full of experience. Control the chains on both sides to escape. But this side, David wasn't so lucky. He looked at the doll in his hand. Unexpectedly, Teo soon caught Key. He threatened him to hand over the ring and the doll. David didn't know how. Handed over these two things to him. Now everything is there. Teo happily walked away. There is no ring. David couldn't use magic. To protect the world. Not to be occupied by the army of spirits. Uncle Bao can only stop Marika from being revived by himself. He marries the hawk who flies straight to the revival site. Although David lost the ring. But don't forget he was an elite student in the physics department. He tied the Tesla coil in his lab to the car. Teo arrives at the square, releasing the evil magician Marika imprisoned for a thousand years. At this point her soul was still in Veronica's body. Now just Marika makes a magical mark. We'll be able to call upon the spirit army to destroy the world. By the time Uncle Bao arrived, the imprint had gradually formed. Teo quickly spotted Uncle Bao hiding. But at this time, Teo with the dragon ring was too strong. Poor Uncle Bao was brutally beaten. Teo revived the bronze bull statue. Under this situation, Uncle Bao could only rush away. Magical imprints are formed in the sky. Evil spirits all over the world awaken one after another. David brought his Tesla coil. He pressed the remote control. A powerful burst of electricity knocked down Teo's magic staff. He seized the opportunity to defeat Teo. The bronze bull flew towards Uncle Bao, stolen by his steel hawk. But now the danger has not been eliminated. The spirit army was awakened. The summoning ritual is nearing completion. At this moment Key climbed to the top of the signal tower, knocked down the transmitter. At a glance, the ritual was interrupted. Now understand your mission in the movie. The souls that had just awakened were shattered, and Marika was also countered by magic and fainted. For saving Veronica, Bao sucks Marika's soul into his body. After all, Marika was just as powerful as the great mage Marin. Uncle Bao could hardly eat again. She breaks free from Uncle Bao's bondage, causing him to lose his magic. When Marika was about to see them off, suddenly David's magic awakened. Stop Marika's fatal caravan. To her, David was just an ant worm. But she had no idea that all this was actually to activate the voltage box next to her. When Marika attacks David, David secretly uses his magic to control the high voltage current connected to the street light. The city's electricity went straight to Marika. Finally David used the blow with lightning, turning Marika into ashes. The magical battle that lasted a thousand years ended. In the end, Uncle Bao and David both received potato ovens. If you feel good, give me a like and a sub.